Hello, I'm Paul Nailas from Safe Software, and I'd like to give you a simple demo of loading data into Fusion Tables. So first, you'll see my Google Docs page, which I've emptied out here for simplicity. And uh, what I will show you next is uh, some data from our training data, I think graciously given from the city of Austin. This is probably a few years old. Um, and what I have is a uh, map info tab file, and I'm going to just right click on that and say transform in workbench. And so you'll see our lovely new FME 2012 splash screen, and it comes up saying, hey, what do you want to transform that to? And I say, well, I've got map info, and we want to go to Fusion Tables. I'll start typing uh, part of that word there, and you can see it gets highlighted. There's a spatial and non-spatial option. I want to keep my geometry, so I pick spatial. Um, I've already put in my credentials for, for writing that. Anyway, so I hit OK, and what happens is it builds a little workspace. On the left, it's the it shows the data that we're going to read. It's got um, a name and a name alt field. It's in uh, a Texas state plane coordinate system. And then we're writing to Google Fusion Tables. It has kind of the same things. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. We'll just accept the defaults, and I'll hit play. And we wait a moment as it converts. This is a pretty small data set. You'll see a number up here in the middle there saying that there are 22 features. And this works really great for much larger data sets, but this was something simple to show. Okay, so now I will minimize that and head back on over to Chrome. Okay, so you can see now that we have our city parks table there. We've got the name column, the name alt column, and then a geom column with some KML stuff in there. And if I select visualize as a map, you can see it as a map. And it looks like we're pretty far zoomed out, so I will uh, very slowly zoom in here. I'm doing this over a little bit of remote connection, which explains the slight zooming delay. This is quite similarly responsive to the normal Google Maps. Anyway, you can see that as I you know, click on these polygons that you have those two fields, you can customize that as well. So then the last thing that I wanted to show you was that you can embed this uh, in your own websites. You can send this link uh, to others and they'll be able to get that if you uh, turn on sharing, which I'm going to do next. So there's a little button up here, share, and I'll say unlisted. So if you have this URL, you'll be able to see it. And now you can see uh, various options appearing at the top. If I click Get Embeddable Link, uh, it gives you some cryptic looking HTML text that you could paste into your website and suddenly it would be uh, embedded. And what I'm going to do is something very simple to show you how that might work. This is contrived. I'm just going to build a website as a, a text file and all I'm going to do is paste in that snippet. Save and open. And you can see that this is what it would look like <clears throat> in the website you embedded it in. All those same things work. And there's lots more you can do, but this is a, re a very simple demo. Uh, FME read data from App Info tab. It converted it from one of the Texas State Plane coordinate systems into lat long WGS84, which is what uh, Fusion Tables needs. Sent it to the server, and then you can quite quickly use it. Thank you for your time.